Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to gaming with me, Tony Mo. Happy Friday to you. Once again, even if you are someone who is working the weekend, I hope you have a great day at work. Maybe pop on some lover boy. Remind uh, remind yourself that not everybody is working for the weekend. Some people are working on the weekend. Just a small bit of discussion today for you guys. Very much a actual fast episode of Fast Friday. I'm spending most of today before work getting some time in with Breath of Wild. So really taking the day off from YouTube apart from this video. Uh, unfortunately, after today, I'll be loaning my Wii U and my copy of Breath of Wild to my mother. Uh, it was sort of her birthday present, actually, to buy her Breath of Wild and the strategy guide. She's a huge Zelda fan. She got me into Zelda as a kid. She got me into video games as a kid. So I know she's she's just been freaking out. She's been walking around the house. She's wearing her Make It Rain um, Ocarina song shirt. She's, like, super excited to get home from work to play Zelda. And unfortunately, I canceled my Switch pre-order. It was a... It was a intelligent financial decision but the little tech kid in me the kid who saved all the money on his paper out to buy his you know his first gamecube is like oh man new nintendo tech you know even if i play two games on it for some reason i just buy into it i'm one of those uh closet fanboys for nintendo apparently i don't, I don't even know it my brain knows it but my body doesn't and the rest of my mind doesn't so maybe one day down the road i will pick up that switch and enjoy breath of wild and glorious 1080p welcome to the modern era nintendo you're lagging a little bit behind Anyways, I did want to talk a little bit about savoring experiences. Um, you know, it's it's sort of a mandatory thing for some of us, right, to only be able to put in small chunks of time with games. And when you look at this month, with Horizon Zero Dawn, Breath of Wild, and Mass Effect, even if you're only picking up one of those games, I happen to be picking up all three, even if you're only picking up one, though, right, there's still so much to do there. And if you're really busy because that's just the way your life is, or if you're like me when it comes to video games, and when you do sit down, in your free time to play a game, it's a game that you need to work on to cover on your channel. You know, you don't have a lot of time for these games. So for probably, you know, like uh, two years of doing YouTube, uh, when I was really getting into it, when I was really dedicating, you know, the 40, 50, 60, more than that sometime hours a week to YouTube, I just wouldn't play games. There's games I would just not play if I wasn't covering them. Eh, I don't have time. Maybe I'd buy them. They'd sit in the, you know, they sit in the box sealed, not even broken or they'd be digital on my Steam library with zero hours played. I wouldn't even boot them up and, you know, do the first run on them. I just felt like it was necessary to sit down and play them for five or six hours, and if I couldn't play for five or six hours, I wasn't going to play at all. So what I started doing about a year ago was realizing that I could just sit down and savor an experience. I could put in an hour there, 40 minutes there, uh, maybe specifically at the end of the night before I go to bed. I'd wrap up work early or I'd just wrap up work, I'd come home and I'd say, all right, you know, I got to play some Titanfall 2, I got to play this game, I got to work on, a, you know, some audio stuff, get some commentary going, and then I would dedicate 40 minutes here and there to play a game. And I've been doing that with Horizon Zero Dawn, I just one mission a night. That's my thing, one side mission a night, no matter how short that mission is or how long that mission is, and I restrict myself to about 40 minutes. So if the side mission takes me 20 minutes, well, I'll spend another 20 minutes just kind of exploring, taking in the settings, maybe snapping some photos with the photo mode. I'll do some gathering, some crafting. It's a really interesting way to savor and enjoy an experience that you really don't have the time for. You know, you can't put in five or six hours, so you put in a mission here or there. I really recommend that you guys give this approach a go. I think a lot of people, they want to do three or four hours. And there can always be time down the road to do three or four hours. But why not squeeze in 40 minutes there, you know, 50 minutes there. A lot of these games are really built for that type of experience. You know, obviously it's nice to be able to indulge for two or three hours. But many of these games offer side missions and, you know, small explorable areas that you can do in 40 or 50 minutes. And I found that there's actually some value to that. It's a bit like savoring your favorite meal, right? You're going to sit down, you're going to talk with friends, you're going to uh, slowly you know, eat that meal, taste all of the flavors. It's kind of the same thing here. You know, I'll do one, uh, maybe I'll do one smaller dungeon in, in Breath of Wild. Okay, that's my that's my dungeon for the night. You know, with Horizon, it's like, okay, this is the this is the side mission I'm gonna do for the night. Ooh, look, I'm fighting I'm fighting two uh, you know freaking sawtooth. Okay, yeah, this is gonna probably take at least 40 minutes. This will be perfect. I'll finish this up and I'll walk away. You know, when you're not blasting through the content in like a five hour span, I think mentally it's a little bit easier to absorb what you're doing, to take it all in. And you get to see the deeper value, you know, the music, uh, you know, the visual design, the environmental design. I think that stuff becomes more apparent when you're savoring within that hour, at least for me. So give it a go if you're one of those people, you know, your life's just way too busy sometimes. You're just trying to play some of your favorite games. Uh, consider what I'm saying here and give it a go. Maybe it'll work for your schedule, maybe it won't, but either way, it's it's worth 
it's worth the chance. It's worth giving it a try. I'm going to get back to playing Breath of the Wild. I hope you guys have a fantastic Friday, a great weekend. I will see you next Monday for some more Titanfall 2 content and other juicy goodness. If you are playing Breath of the Wild, enjoy yourself. Take your time. Savor the experience. It's been a long time coming. Um, I can already tell you in the first two hours I've played a Breath of the Wild that this is the first Zelda game that I've genuinely been enjoying since probably Majora's Mask. It's not like there wasn't a lot of good stuff along the way, but nothing that ever reminded me of the experiences I had with, you know, with Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask and, and Link to Pass and, and Zelda 2. You know, those games for me as a kid, they they were just so much nostalgia. It was like, how do you top that? But Breath of the Wild so far is... It's doing a good job in getting there, and I think it's going to. I'm going to get back to working on that new closer. I'll see you guys in the next one.